Hello, this is Dr. Josh Silver, and today we're going to talk about a little bit of research. Now, I really love research in neurology, and this is one of my all-time favorite papers. It's titled, Cervicogenic Headache, an Assessment of the Evidence on Clinical Diagnosis, Invasive Tests, and Treatments. Now, this research article was written by Nikolai Bogduk, who's a leading re neurology researcher in Australia, and the research was published in the Lancet Neurology Journal 2009, which is a very prestigious medical journal. And this is what the study finds, is that there's a unique diagnosis called cervicogenic headaches. Cervicogenic means originating in the cervical spine, or the neck. And they found that joint dysfunction in the top two vertebra would cause altered sensory input up into the brainstem, a part called the trigeminal nucleus. Now this trigeminal nucleus is very important because it processes pain signals from the face and the head. And what these researchers found was that when there was altered pain signals from the top of the neck, it would feed into the trigeminal nucleus with the head and face pain and would actually generate these types of headaches across the front or the top that are really originating in the neck. And it turns out that these headaches are very underdiagnosed, they're often missed. So I think this is very important because it strikes home with me. I suffer from these headaches for a very long time, and that was because nobody ever found the correct cause of these problems. And what we find in this clinic is many people coming in with these headaches actually have cervicogenic headaches, and that's why they respond and clear so quickly with this a wonderful upper cervical work. And so what we're asking is that I believe headaches, or cervicogenic headaches specifically, may be the first warning sign that there may be a misalignment in the top two bones in the neck. And so if you know anybody suffering with these headaches, I think it'd be a good idea to get them checked this year to make sure that there is no nerve interference from this that may be what's causing these headaches that they're suffering with. And I just don't want anybody having to suffer when they don't need to. So anyway, I hope you have a wonderful year. I'll see you in the back. Take care. It was nice speaking. Bye.